go. Right, then Josh, I'm back. Um, right, so we're starting a new game now. Korea. Will take a while because I've got so many editor files. Game mode. Original. Take a few minutes. So while I'm waiting for that, what do you reckon then, Josh? England, Spain, Italy, Germany, France, Holland. That's six, isn't it? England, France, Germany, Italy, Spain, Holland, Portugal at seven. Um, do I leave it as seven? Maybe go for Belgium. I think I'll go for Belgium. I think what I'll do is I'll do this journeyman save as a like um start with no no badges and, and Sunday League ref. Have all the divisions oh, have all the divisions in them countries because I've got a lot of the editor files. Uh I think that's the way to go. Yeah, we'll just wait for this to load up. Bet you haven't got as many editor files in your Oh, I have, Josh. I'd actually, let's have a look. I'll tell you how many files I've got in a second. Uh, data. Uh, editor data. Quite clear. Does it say how many it is? Oh, I don't know. Uh, I've got a lot, though. Got zero. Do you think I should go for the smaller nations instead? Okay, all right then. I'll do that then. I'll take your advice. So we're gonna go. We'll go Holland, Croatia, Belgium. There'll be three relatively good ones. Port, port, no, not Portugal. That'd be too big of a step, I think. So we'll go Holland, Belgium, Croatia, Czech Republic, uh, Port, uh, Turkey would be a good one. That's five. I'm trying to think of nations relatively close to them as well. Uh, I'll have a look once this loads up. Austria, Austria would be a good one. Yeah, I'll do a small nations one then. So we go Austria, Belgium, Croatia, Czech Republic, Holland. I have got the lower leagues of Holland. Um, oh, it's taking forever, isn't it? Gives me time to think, though. Um, let, me have a, let me hydrate. Come on. Why is it taking so bloody long? Yeah, Austria. Austria, Belgium, Holland. Norway. Norway would be another good one, wouldn't it? Norway. Not Scotland, because I'm already doing a Scottish say. Um, no, not, not Ireland, I don't think, or Northern Ireland. I don't really want to. I want to stay away from UK for this one, I think. Uh, Turkey, Serbia, Serbia would be another good one. I had a good save with Red Star Belgrade years ago. Why is this taking so long to bloody low? I think it probably takes this long usually, and it doesn't really bother me usually because I'm. I do, I do other stuff while I'm waiting, but this is taking forever now. Denmark, yeah, Denmark, Sweden. I try and stick. I try and keep it to about eight nations. Otherwise, it's gonna it's gonna take forever in it to to load up and stuff. Um, yeah. Once this loads up properly, I've got a really powerful computer as well. So this must be if it's the right. So let's just go through them again: Austria, Denmark, Sweden, Norway, Holland, the Czech Republic, Croatia. Uh, what else? Yeah, which ones are we? Uh, I'll I'll have a look in a minute, Josh. Just bear with us. 
you watching anything good on your telly? Or are you just watching me? You're probably just watching me, aren't you? I appreciate you uh, keep watching me, Josh. It does make the streams go a lot quicker. Uh, it makes it more entertaining when I'm talking to you. Come on. Why is this taking so bloody long? Oh, there we go. Here we go. We're right. We're cooking now. All right. So let's just delete these. No, we can't delete that. I've got literally every nation you can possibly think of, Josh. It's ridiculous how many files I've got on here. Right. So here we go. So we'll go Austria, Belgium. I won't do Bulgaria because I've done Bulgaria last year. Czech Republic, Denmark. Uh, maybe Greece, maybe Hungary. We'll figure it out in a minute. Uh, um, Netherlands, Norway, maybe Poland. Mm, actually, no, we'll leave Poland. We'll leave Romania, Serbia, we'll leave Slovakia and Slovenia, we'll leave Sweden. Leave uh, Switzerland, maybe. Uh, no, we'll leave Switzerland actually. Right, so how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's nine. I'm not, I want to keep it down to eight. So we'll. Hmm. Um. Got eight here, aren't we? No, one, two, three, four, then yeah, we go ten nations. That too many. Let's try ten nations and see what comes up with that. We've got a humongous database. We don't need that many players. Do that. No. And we do we leave the Europe. Do we'll get rid of that? Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Uh, right, so that makes the database a lot more manageable. Do that. Do... There's a hell of a lot of leagues in the Belgian league, so we'll just do that. Do that. 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 Uh, we'll go. Down to that, no, we won't. We'll go down to that one. Just say three divisions maximum in each country. One, that one, that one, right? Uh, okay, right. So we'll do that. So that means we can only buy players that we can scout. I want to make this as difficult as possible. Do not add key staff. Get rid of that one. Uh, then, right. So, anything else you want to add before I uh, before I start this, Josh? Are you happy with it being how it is? Anybody else in the chat, Twitch chat? If you've got any. Comments to make, any suggestions or anything like that to the database or the, the countries I'm going to load for this journey, I say. For anybody who's on here that's not Josh and, and doesn't know, um, I'm going to start a European journey, man, say, where I um, basically got all these nations loaded up and then I'm going to start unemployed with no coaching badges. And yeah, so we're just going to do that. Um, yeah, so we'll just see how it goes. Um, bear with us two seconds. Right, okay. Right, now it's loaded up. This is going to take a few minutes. So, uh, have you got any plans for the weekend, Josh, or are you just going to stay in bed because you're not, you're not up to doing anything? Here we go. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at... Uh, I'm going to put... Type in football quiz. 
going to do a football quiz in a bit, Josh. Premier League. Or quiz. I'll be the quiz master. Um, no, we don't want a recent one. We want a 90s. If we type in 90s Premier League. And 2000s. Premier League quiz. Right, we'll play this together in a minute, Josh. I'll uh, I'll load it up on this. this. Uh, where are you? Oh. oh, you got your son. Fair play. You see him much these days? How often do you see him? Do you see him? Do you see him most weekends now? Come on, Copsy. Yeah. I oh, know. I oh, know. But we start a new one now, mate. We're um we're doing um urinations, your small urinations, journeyman save. I think you might I might have mentioned it before. Um so we've got quite a few you can see the leagues we've got loaded up there. We're gonna start unemployed with Sunday League ref. Yeah. Uh, sorry to hear that, Josh. I know you've had your uh, hard times with with that situation. Right, here we go. We're gonna we're gonna edit the profile. I think. Uh, no, we're not. Okay. Right, so we we've got the we're gonna start unemployed, and we're going no coaching bad Sunday league rep. Um. Motivator, probably. And this will be a uh, new save for Twitch. Right, so that's saving. So, right, let's take this down to that. And then we're just going to apply all the jobs. 143 jobs applied. This is going to take a while. Oh, what have I done? I'm an idiot. I was meant to do it from um, 31st of December, when I? Oh, for God's sake. Add on then. All right. We're just going to ignore the fact that I applied for all them jobs. I'm going to go. Not going to apply for any jobs. I'm going to go, um, actually, before I do that, I need to do a couple of things so it, so it doesn't slow the process down. Five years, that. Oh, walla wally. Topsy, you, you come back at the right time. I'm going to do a uh, Premier League quiz while waiting for it to load up, while waiting for it to holiday. So if you, if you're, if you are back and you fancy doing a... Uh, Premier League 90s and 2000s Premier League quiz, um, which will probably be in your yours two's age range because you probably did watch Premier League football in the 90s, more more the 2000s because you are a little bit younger than me. So, you, you, but you should be all right, right? So we need to just uh, detail level. We need to. Oh, they're all on none anyway, so that's fine. Okay, right. So we need to go on holiday. Going on holiday to the 31st of December. 
I'm going to just leave that to run. And in the meantime, got uh, Google up here. Um, no, done something wrong there. Oh, no, we haven't. Here we go. That's here. Um, okay, I don't know what I've done here. <laughs> oh my god, what's going on here? Okay, hold on. Bear with this. I don't know why it's doing that. Right, bear with me. Trying again. Right. We'll be right back after this. Uh, okay, so that's fine. Oh, okay. Right, we're all right now. Yeah, I know. I don't know how that happened then. Um, yeah, don't worry. It's just a bit of fun at the end of the day, lads. Right, so here we go. So we're doing shirt sponsors here. No cheating. Who sponsored Man United's kit from... 1982 to 2000. This will be an easy one to start the thing off. Sony, Sano, or Shah? I mean, it's easy for me. Right, take a guess each. Topsy and Josh, let me know. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll give you time. There we go. You are correct. The pair of you are correct. Right, okay. Next one. Which shirts, who sponsored Arsenal's kit from 1981 to 1999? These are pretty easy so far. I think they will get harder. So JVC, Hitachi. I need to keep it on this screen, don't I, for you to see it. So I'll, I'll have to try and look quickly or something. Yep, you are correct. JVC. Right. Who sponsored Leicester City kit from 1987 to 2001? I know what the answer is to this one. I'll give you a minute. Oh, I'll give you like 30 seconds. I think you two will get this one right as well. Right, let's have a look. Walkers, okay. Okay. You are correct. Who sponsored this one's an easy one? Who sponsored Newcastle's kit from 1995 to 2000? Fuller's Tenants or Newcastle's Brown Ale? Hmm, I wonder which one it's going to be. Have a look at this while you're. Oh, for God's sake. Hold on. I think it's. Uh... I've been offered the Japan job. Sorry. Ethiopia, Senegal. Oh, that's the under 20s job. The Congo was offered me the job. Japan, oh, that's under, oh, that's okay, it doesn't matter. South Sudan, right, okay. Right, I need to go on holiday again properly this time. There we go. Okay, I'll check on that in a minute. Hold on. No, I don't want to be Ethiopia. Oh, for God's sake. Right. Nine. I'm going to start this again. I feel like I've ballsed up here. Right, there we go. Load. There we go. We can load it because that's fine. It's all good. All good in the hood. No, I'm not taking Ethiopia. No. <laughs> it is funny though. The literally start with no coaching badges. And yet I've still, I've still got offered the Ethi an Ethiopian national team job. Right, um, preferences. Is it already done? Is it changed? Oh, yeah, it's all right. Don't need to do that. So, right, bear with us, lads. I'm nearly finished. I've just got a holiday until December the 31st. Right, the, qu the quiz can continue. So, right, yeah, Newcastle Brown Ale, you are correct. Both of you are correct. Neck and neck at the moment. Right, who was. Manchester City's kit uh, sponsor from 1987 to 1999. I know what this one is. So it's Minolta, Brother, or Epsom. Which one is it?
Oh, Copsy. Oh, Copsy. I'll let you off because you're not, you know, you might be a bit too young for the 90s stuff here. Right, it was brother. Josh is winning now. Right, who sponsored Chelsea's kit from 1997 to 2001? The AA, Halfords or Autoglass? Autoglass, Autoglass. Copsy, are you now waiting for Josh to answer? <laughs> So you can copy his answers. I'm only joking, Copsy. Right, who was... Oh, that was a... I mean, I hate Liverpool, but that was such a nice kit. I remember that. Stan Collymore. Who sponsored Liverpool's kit from 1996 to 2000? I know straight away Copsy's going to get this one right. Josh, I hope you do as well. You'll be letting yourself down if you don't. Holzberg, yeah. So, <laughs> Copsy's just copying you now, Josh, at this point. No, I'm only joking. I'm only joking. Right, Colesburg. Um, who sponsored Aston Villa's kit from 1993 to 1995? Um, I think I know this one. So we've got Danone, Muller, or Nestle. Which ones are you going for? I'm only... I'm... Hello, the real... Oh, hold on. The real King George? As in, as in the fake... After the, the fake King George? Hello, King George. Nice to meet you. Mo, Mo FM? Are you saying more FM? Oh, no FM. Um, yeah, so I'm starting a new save. I'm holiday until December the 31st. And then I start with no coaching badges and Sunday league rep. So we're just doing a little football quiz while I'm holidaying through, because you can see here, it's only the 6th of August. So it's going to take a while. The rest of this Twitch stream will probably just be me doing football quizzes, because it might be a bit late by the time we finish this. But yeah. Um, Right, back on with the... Hello, though. Nice to meet you, George. Feel free to join in the football quiz if you want. Um, Danone, so... Nestle, okay. So you went Danone, Nestle. I'm going to go with... Muller. Yeah, it was Muller. I've got every single one right so far. Right. Who sponsored the West Ham kit from 1998 to 2003? Dr. Martins, Clarks, or Timberland? Have you got them all right, Josh? You haven't got them all right, have you? Oh, you t yeah, you have. Sorry, I apologise. You put Muller, didn't you? Sorry, I apologise, Josh. Right. Be me now. <laughs> what we should do is probably start another quiz, and then we'll just we'll we'll I'll ask Josh the first question, and then Copsy the second question, and we'll do it that way. So there's no. There's no cheating going on there. I think that's the easiest way to do it. But yeah, Dr. Martins, you're both right. Right, okay. Um, what we should do is actually do it like this, and we should just say, which, which team do you reckon this one is? But you already know, because I just scrolled up. Who sponsored Leeds United's kit from 1996 to 2000? Dell, Packard Bell, or Compact? I actually don't know which one this is. I'm going to take a guess at Packard Bell. But I'm not, I don't know for definite. You reckon Packard Bell Copsy? What do you reckon, Josh? Okay, so we're all going Packard Bell. Oh, we're right. Excellent. That's good. I'll still keep, me and Josh still keep 100% record. Who sponsored the Tottenham Hotspur kit from 95 to 99? Cisco, IBM, or Hewitt Packard? I know what the answer is to this one because my dad is a Tottenham Hotspur fan and he used to wear the shirts. Every Christmas, my mum would get him a Tottenham Hotspur shirt, so I remember it well. Yeah, I've gone with HP as well. You don't, you don't know who... Well, we're kind of just giving you a clue here. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, there we go. Hewitt Packard. So, uh... 
No, you can't say it now, Josh, you cheat. Right. <laughs> Do we let him off, Copsy? What do you reckon? If you don't let him off, if you don't let him off, uh, lag. Oh, yeah, that old excuse. Okay. Right. Uh, all right, we'll let you off this time, Josh. Who sponsored Everton's kit from 1997 to 2022? 1 to 1, BC or O2. Gotta remember, 1 to 1. Oh, we've only hit the 34, 31st of August, we're going to be a while. 1 to 1, okay. Um, I've got a feeling it's going to be O two. No, you're both right. One to one. I didn't want to cheat and just go for your answer. I thought I, I, I in my head I thought it was O two, but I'm thinking I'm mistaken then with Chelsea and because Chelsea had O two. Right, who sponsored Bolton Wanderers kit from 1990 to 2029? I mean, this one's so easy. I mean, I say it's easy, but it might not be easy. But yeah, three buck. Yeah. Yeah, makes it easier, doesn't it? Stadium. They don't well out of that deal, though. Bolton did. You think about it. Right, okay. So who sponsored Coventry City's kit from 97 to 2005? Mazda, Nissan, or Subaru? I don't know what the answer is to this one. Oh, I don't know why it's doing that. Hold on, let me go back to this. You've gone Nissan, you've gone Mazda. Okay, in that case, I'll go Subaru. Yeah! Get in. Okay, we're going to make it a little bit harder. Which team do you reckon has one of these sponsors? We're not gonna I'm not going to tell you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to see if you can guess the team. There you go. We're going we're gonna to change it up a bit. So the sponsors here are Orange, Cellnet, or Vodafone. I don't think it's Man United because we've already had Man United. So I don't know. I'm going to let you two figure it out. Yeah, okay. All right, we'll go Man United, but hold on. Let's go up first. Ah, oh, Middlesbrough. Okay, so it's Middlesbrough. So who sponsored Middlesbrough? Um, Orange, Salnet, or Vodafone? Who do you reckon? I think it was Vodafone, wasn't it? Yeah, that would be a weird one, wouldn't it? Middlesbrough wearing red, being sponsored by Orange. It wouldn't make sense, would it? Um, so, yeah, Middlesbrough, you've got Orange, Salnet, or Vodafone. I think it's Vodafone. Don't quote me on that. Oh, no. Actually, no. It was, I think it's Salnet. Yeah, okay, you've gone Salnet. I'll go Vodafone. No, you're right, Salnet. Well done. Okay, so that was good. We got 13 out of 15. <laughs> um, I don't, I don't, I don't. I'll tell you what, I'll make it easier for you two. I'll do 2000s Premier League. We'll do this. All right, kick off. Who won the Golden Boot at the 2006 World Cup? Miroslav Close, Ronaldo, David Villa, or Crespo? Yeah. Yeah. I'd have said Close as well. What do you reckon, Copsy? Are you going with Close or are you going to change? Are you going to pick a different one? Oh, okay. Don't worry, mate. Yeah, that's fine. Don't worry. Cheers for joining in anyway. Yeah, okay, let me just click on this. Yeah, you're right. There you go. You carry on, mate. You enjoy the rest of your day. Are oh, you going to go as well, Josh? Okay, that's fine, buddy. Cheers, lads. I appreciate it. You enjoy the rest of your, uh, your evening and that, and I'll be back on Monday, probably two-ish. Feel free to join. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Okay, all right, mate. I hope you're all right, Josh. I hope it's nothing too bad. I'll carry on with this 
Uh, I'll message. I'll message you on WhatsApp when I've figured out what team I'm going to be. No, I appreciate it, Josh. Thanks a lot for joining in. Yeah, I'll message you on WhatsApp when I've when I've figured out what team I'm going to manage on here. Um, and Copsy, uh, I'll, I'll leave you to it. Anyway, come on, lads, you head off. Yeah, I oh know, I oh know. I hey, at the end of the day, it's you. You, you just got to do what you got to do, Josh. You'll be fine, mate. Just try and rest up. Um, anybody else in my Twitch stream that want to say hello? Is uh, is George still there, King George? Are you still there? If you are, feel free to pop a message in here. We are in the fifth of October here at the moment. Right, we'll just get rid of this now. We'll get rid of this. We'll cancel this. There we go. We'll get rid of that. And have a look and see how far we're in. Hopefully it'll get through a bit quicker now. Now the transfer window's over, it'll speed through a bit quicker. What I might do is, um, people are still watching, what I might do is actually just apply for the jobs and then save it there. So then leave it on a cliffhanger and then you won't know if I get any jobs um, until I come back on Monday. You're that into interested in it. Also, it means um, people like Josh who's just had to go. Um, he won't miss anything. Oh yeah. No, I just want to say thank you to everyone that's turned up today. Thank you to uh, Josh and Popsy. As well, made this stream go really quickly. Um, and enjoyed and enjoyed it. Enjoyed the football quiz we did as well. That's good. Anybody else that's come in, like King George and, and, and that, thank you. Sorry to disappoint you that we had no... Well, if you if you come on the stream about an hour ago, you'd have seen me playing my Newcastle save. Unfortunately, the Newcastle save didn't go well because I was not successful in what I wanted to do in Season 3, so I decided that Season 4 wasn't uh, worth doing. So, yeah. So, basically, we left it as that. Um, it was a good save, the Newcastle save. I really enjoyed it. Bit of a bad bit of a bad day on FM for me because I got got sacked from Everton in my YouTube save, and then I didn't achieve my uh, my goal my goals with Newcastle. I won the Premiership in the first season and then just couldn't win anything after that. Really weird. Yeah. Where are we now? November. Getting closer. Yeah, we're getting closer. Third November. Actually, I might just keep going on the Twitch stream until I actually get a job. So, uh, and then I'll save it literally the second I get my first job. And then we'll start fresh on. One day, that's what I'll do. Yeah, I've got a um, very enjoyable save with Renz in France, where I literally just the, the goal of the, the goal of the game is just to sell any player that's worth money, and then just try and make the club as much money as possible, and just rely on my youth players to keep me going in the meantime. Um, 
difficult to get the bonus because you don't want to start every single player in your team because then you're going to have no squad at all and then you're just going to do terrible and you're going to get sacked. So it's trying to make sure that the players that you've got in your team, um, even the youth players that are making the step up are good enough that you can then sell the players. You just want to, you just want to always want to make sure that you've got a player in the waiting in your team. You're not signing, because in this state, I'm not signing anyone. It's just my current squad I've got and any players that come through my youth recruitment. So my youth intakes and stuff like that. Rent have got a very good reputation of producing very good footballers, uh, young footballers. So that's why I decided to do the same. It's been interesting. Like I said, I've made a hell of a lot of money so far. But weirdly, every time I make a sale, a big sale, my uh, projections say that I'm going to be making uh, more of a loss each season. It's really weird. All right, where are we now? 21st of November. Nearly there. Halfway, well, a couple of weeks ago, yeah. Five, six more weeks in the game to go. Da, 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 da. Anybody else in the chat? Feel free to say hello. I'm really, really bored right now. <laughs> I'm just trying to... Um, I've got a knack of... I, I don't like silences. I think my, my girlfriend points this out about me. She says I feel like I've got to constantly talk so so there's no boredom in the, in the room. Uh, I'm just kind of just... Flapping me gums, really. Yeah, no, I'll be quiet for the next few minutes, I think. But in anticipation. Right, we're uh, 3rd of December, we're nearly there. Hopefully the people that have stayed on see how it goes. Hopefully this will, um, you'll enjoy the process of me applying for the jobs and then trying to find the right job. Because I'm also going to try and make this as realistic as possible and basically that's why I've gone for no coaching badges with Sunday League rep and starting in lower, uh, not lower divisions, but I think countries with lower divisions and, and not the big countries. It makes it a little bit easier to get a job. Hopefully, that's what I'm hoping for. I wouldn't mind starting in somewhere like Norway or something like that. That would be a nice place to start this uh, journeyman save. Either them or Turkey. I've always fancied doing a save. I've never done a save in Turkey. Um, I've watched the Lujo do um, a recent journeyman save where he started in Turkey and it looked like a load of fun. But I don't really want to copy him, so I might just not do that for that reason alone. But I am a big fan of the Lujo, so I don't want to. I don't want to come across as a fanboy, sort of thing. Um. I hope Dr. Benji comes back to FM content. He's a bit burnt out by it, I think. And he's more concentrating, concentrating more on the GTA stuff, but big fan of his. He's got his he's, he's got um reasons and that, so gotta do what's best for him at the end of the day. Yeah, I'm a big fan of him. If anybody wants to have a laugh, watch go on Dr. Benji's YouTube channel and look for his GTA adventures as Jack Space. He is um it's a, it's a very it's a very well like a lot of it is um improv i think but a lot of it is obviously well planned as well i think as well but it's very funny um but yeah it's it's, it's worth a, it's worth a watch i was kind of gutted when he stopped doing it because it was one of my highlights of my week when he come on twitch and do a couple of hours of gta roleplay um 
I do I do I do watch other I watch a few other GTA role players like Icy Deluxe is usually the one I watch. He's quite funny. Um but Dr. Benji's sense of humor is very similar to mine. Same with Lelujo's sense of humor is very similar to mine as well. Um Work the Space is quite funny, he has like a sarcastic um sense of humor. Self deprecating at times sense of humor, but that's what I'm like, so I can find humor in it. Um Zealand is I like see I find Zealand good at when he's talking about football and American football and world football and stuff like that. Um I, I, I can't say I've, I've watched much of his football manager content um when he's doing his careers and stuff like that. But he's doing really well for himself and that, so yeah. So I'm happy for him. He's unique in a way that he's an American playing football manager. I know it sounds silly because it's a world it's a worldwide game, but mostly a game that in Europe, in it, that most people play European players. Soccer's not as popular in America as it is in England, but it is getting more popular. Uh, yeah, we're nearly at the end now. I feel like I've rambled on enough. Yeah, coming up to the end now. Um. Yeah, we'll start. We'll apply for all the jobs. And then we'll declare interest in all of them. And then we'll see which ones we end up getting in job interviews for. Also about this save as well. When I, whenever I... Um, so basically, when I get my first club that I manage, after that, I'm not allowed to apply for jobs or declare interest. The only way I can get another job is if I get approached for a job interview. So it makes it a little bit more difficult. It won't. It it will mean that I won't be just jumping jobs every one or two seasons or something. It will be a bit harder. Right. So there's there's fifty two jobs I've applied for. Uh, a lot of these they've they've already. Uh, Already hit their manager. A bit annoyed. Why give me the option to apply then? Malarenga, I remember them many years ago. They were a very good team in Norway. Don't know if they're as good as they used to be. I'm gonna absolutely. Um, I've got. I'm not very good at um, pronouncing names. But some of these clubs and players, I'm gonna absolutely butcher. Might just have to give them shortened versions of the names. Grasshopper Zurich. That'd be a great first job. I know I'm not gonna get it though. Barta Rotterdam would be a good job. That'd be another good job. Good. Uh, good. Good teams coming up on here. Uh. Mold, Dolshar and Harlan's former team. That'd be a good job to have at the start, wouldn't it? Managing mould. Not enough mould as it is in my bloody flat. Ba -dum -boom right. That's that. Are we a favourite for any of these jobs? No. Not at the moment. Not at the moment. Okay. Nisi Brada would be a good job. Sparta Rotterdam would be a good job as the first one. First job in the Dutch top league. Hold on. I didn't think. I thought I didn't load up the Holland League. Oh, I must have done. 
Uh, well, we'll just keep boarding this. Hopefully, eventually, we'll get a job. Right, any other jobs come right up? No. Uh, always exciting at the start of this when you do a journeyman save because you just don't know where what club you're going to start at. Right, any more jobs? Right, going. Motorlet? That'd be a nice name to nice name of a team. At least I can pronounce that. Motorlet. Fortunately, we don't get that job. So. Keep going. Hello to anyone here, here who's just joined the chat. Um. Just to let you know, we've started a new save. I did do a Newcastle save on Twitch, but now I'm doing a Journeyman save. In fact, I need to edit this now. All right, so that's that safe. That's title's changed now. Uh, we are considered leading candidate for this one. Fans want us. Um, Czech Republic lower division team. Got four players. That'd be interesting. Laughed off from there. Um, club here in. Republic as well. Got a few more players than the last team, and that's good. Is that Brian? I'm going to pronounce him Brian. I could be wrong. In Norway. That'd be a good job to have. And was that one? No other jobs can available. We'll just keep going then. We'll just keep going. Um, now we get on. Right, we've got our first interview. So we've been approached by a Belgian team in one of the Bel lower lower Belgium leagues. Um, I remember him. He played for English teams, didn't he? Did he? Oh yeah, former Man United youngster. He went to Carlisle and he went all around Belgium. Any other players I recognise? No. Right. So we're going to have our interview with them. Not a bad shirt as well, yellow and black. Um, hello, Ronaldo. We're inviting you along today so we can go put forward our vision for the club and allow you to suggest any um, alterations for us to consider should we decide to hire you. Uh, I'm going to say I'm glad you've given me the chance to talk to the club. Let's get down to business. They've said, are you worried about not being able to speak to the language? I'm going to put, I hope you can see past my current lack of language skills since I quite conceivably end up learning it at some point. There you go. Um, you're up for a few jobs right now. Are you just hedging your badge, uh, bets? And then I'll just put, uh, just going to put, I'm doing whatever I can to keep progressing. Our last manager didn't get on well with her fans. Would you be able to sit? Uh, able to fare better. I'm going to put, I'm fully confident in the support of every, uh, every fan. We've been performing well below expectations and we're on our worst run of the season. Could you get this team back on track? I'm a motivator. I always adapt, uh, adopt a positive attitude and it's infectious in the dressing room. Happy squad is a winning squad. There we go. And then they've said, would you be able to take charge straight away or a later date? And I'm saying, I can take charge uh, straight away. What scale would you be looking to make changes to the existing backroom staff? And I will put, I'm happy to work with the staff, they're already there. Same with the director of football. 
And then um, a long-term vision outlines the next few years for the club. You'll be tasked with bringing this um, to life if you get the job. Then, do you have any thoughts of the ideas regarding this? Right, okay. They want us to start to make progress on and off the pitch, work within the wage budget, finishing a mid-table in the weed uh, aft dilling, be competitive in the cup, work towards holding a, uh, yeah, that's fine. We'll just do that, yeah. Fine. If I would you expect, um, we expect you to finish in mid-table position, with us unable to consider keeping you in the role should you be relegated? Do you think we could? Do you think we could do better than that? Uh, I don't know, I'm, gonna, I'm not. I'm going to be realistic. I'm just going to put. If I'm given the job, I'll we'll be able to reach the proposed mid-table finish. Um, would a proposed transfer budget of 1.29k be sufficient? No, it wouldn't. But I'll agree with you. Yeah, that's fine. Do you have any anything for us to consider? No. Right. Okay. Got another interview. I'm going to do the same, but I'm going to be quicker. We'll be here all day otherwise. All right, so we'll just have a quick look at them. Racing, uh, racing Claude Mechelen, I think uh, they're okay, what they are. Like I said, I'm not expecting to get a major straight away starting at the bottom work our way up got loads of the lower not lower because that sounds sounds like i'm being derogatory but loads of nations outside the top six nations basically uh right. okay so we that comes come available we'll just that the jobs no. okay not the most exciting content really but i think once we get club um we can get started yeah thank you to anybody that's joined in okay we've got our first job offer it's a bit Bit rubbish if I'm honest with you because of the wage, but they are team struggling. So we're basically gonna get before tax, we're gonna get 880 pounds a month. Now, where are they based? They are in um, well, we need to research this club. So I need to so you can see what I'm looking at. I need to Add windows. Um, oh, we'll do this first. Window. Cool. And I just need to bear with us two seconds. Those capture. Cool. There we go. And then see what I'm looking at now. What we're doing now. We're going to search for this club. Um, Bertram, K Bertram Sport 2004. Okay. 2004, do we put in, do we need to put that in just in case? There we go. Have a look at the images for them. Mouse keeps highlighting things, that's annoying. That's their stadium, I think. Uh, that's them there. In photo. I'll look at that Wikipedia page. So, um, based in Bircham, so that's another thing we need to look for in a minute. Bircham, I just need to copy that ready. I'm going to start seeing if I can find somewhere realistically to rent in Bircham when that wage up on. Right. So, so they are in part of the Antwerp and they're currently playing the Belgium second amateur division. Um, they, were, they were in the first division before. They were founded in 1906. Um, they become a member of the FA two years later. 
Uh, I don't know what that means. Five years later, they added the Pickaxe Royal. Okay, fair enough. So, um, set nickname. Nickname, Yulzurt. Yulzurt. So, we need to do a Belgium English translation. Then, what we need to do is we need to type that in. And find out what the translation that is. Can you see that on there? Yeah. There you can. Fine. Do that. Yellow, black. Yellow, black. Roy, Roy plug. Does Roy plug really? Red plow. So yellow, black, red plow. Yellow, black, red plow. Remember that. I'm going to put that in the chat. Don't forget. Yellow, black, red plow. That's their nickname in English. There you go. Um, right, let's carry on. We'll now we'll look for a place to live in Bertram. So we'll put flats to rent in I don't know uh, Bertram, Antwerp. That's the one. I spelt it wrong. Right, I'll look on here. So our max we'll go cheapest. We'll go cheapest because we haven't got much money. Um actually what is we need to look at is that is that in English pounds? It's in English pounds, isn't it? Contracts in English pounds, so we need to find out. Um sorry about this, I'm getting confused. There we go. We need to do English Pound, Belgium, currency. Assume they use the euro. Yeah, euro. So if we do 880 a month in English pounds, so that's 1,027 euros. So we basically want it to rent, don't we? Uh, no, cheapest. Why? Criteria rent. Go search. We've got this one. Let's have a look at this one. Doesn't look the nicest, but beggars can't be choosy when we're on our wage. This would take out a big chunk of our wage. We'd have to uh, find a part-time job in the meantime, but it's not too bad. I've seen I've seen flats way worse than that. Not bad, is it? We uh, nice view as well. Nice little sunset. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Can't go wrong with that. Um, yeah, so that's not too bad. Right. We'll 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 rent that place. But we will be looking to get a better job as soon as possible. Um if we do go for this job, we might not yet, we might delay it and see if we can get a better pay. We want to go for the best paid job. So they've got 13,607 capacity stadium. Um, anything interesting about them I can talk about? No. Okay. Right, so that's that done. Right, let's go back on the game. Let's delay this for a week. See what else comes along. They've accepted my request. We don't get another offer or a better offer in a week. Okay, so that's two seven five. Was the other one? One was two twenty, wasn't it? Two twenty. So that's slightly better, slightly better wage. Let's have a look at this one then. So K Racing Club Mechelin. They'll probably get me. They'll probably get confused with the. Uh, the other Mechelin, the Royal Mechelin, but we'll see. A Racing Club Mechelin. So, um, yeah, so they're like a long term rival for KV Mechelin. So, um, yeah, they're in the, uh, from Mechelin itself. We'll have a look in a minute for properties in there, see if we can afford something like that. 
The long-term rival, the KP Mechelen, the club's best position ever in second place in the first division in 1951-1952 season. He also reached the final of the Belgian Cup. Um, it's like a... Like the nickname is Den Racing, the Racing, Racingers. Let's have a look and see what that is in um, English. To Google Belgium English translation again. I kept this page up, shouldn't I? Um, and we'll go this. We'll copy and paste it into there. Den Racing, the Racing Girls. So there is no English. Oh, it's supposed to be this to Den Racing, the Racing. And then from Racing Girls, so the Racing from ra Racing Girls. I'm going to put that in there. The Racing from Racing Girls. That's the other nickname for them. Not as good as the. Not as good as the yellow, black, red plow. So the nickname's not as good. They are offering me more money though. So that is, um, like I said, if we're doing it, basing it on real life, we would take the better job. So yeah. Um, I don't think there's anything. The stadium's not too bad. He is a stadium. Have a look at the, yeah. The stadium's not as much as the other one. The other one had a big stadium, but then that's not the uh, end of the world. Um, right, so let's have a look. Uh, Google, and then we'll just go into pounds, uh, English pounds, pounds to euros, isn't it? Pounds, euros. Can't type today. Sorry. And we just do. do so we do two. That's it. Where's my maths today? Twelve hundred, isn't it? Two seven five times four is twelve hundred. Let me just check. Two seven five times four, eleven hundred. Sorry, I was off. Good thing I did check. Right, so we're looking at eleven hundred. That gives us a better monthly budget of twelve thousand eighty four. Now we just we do now is we type in flats to rent in Mech, Lynn, Belgium. Uh, accommodation to rent. So, uh, that out of the way. Um, right for professionals. No, we'll leave it. Filters. We max. Max is probably seven hundred euros. Now we'll go six hundred. Oh. That'll do. I'll just leave it as that. Um, oh, just realized I could have just done this. Oh, for God's sake. I can't type today. Where are you? There we are. Uh, you type in bills included, see what comes up. Three results. There we go. Oh, my God, we are not, it's not looking good, is it? The other place looked nicer in the last one we saw. This one is the most expensive one, so we'll click on this. Um, uh, doesn't look most in this. At least I've got a little office so I can work from home. Kitchen's a bit all, a bit hit and miss, isn't it? Um, let's type in a let's try and filter it out a bit more. See if we can get a bit more money for results. No, we don't. We don't get anything better. Oh, we do that one. But yeah, it's coming up a lot better now. Um, if we go. Sort by by highest price because it'll probably be the best one. There we go. That looks nice. Oh my god, what's going on? Go big mouse. All right, let's click on these photos. The bed's not very nice though, by the looks of it. Is there only one photo? Sure, there's more. Oh, there we go. It's taken the same photo again. They've done it with that one, or at least it's at least it's a different photo. Uh, kitchen looks all right. All I need it for. Not a massive cook. So, um, if my girlfriend was to move in with me in real life, um, she'd probably have her reservations about it because it's a bit small for her. 
could live there. Oh, it's a room for rent. It's only a room. Private room. I don't want a private room. I want a, I want a flat. I want a flat. flat. Not a private room. I don't want to share. I've lived in shared accommodation before. I do not like I didn't like it. Right, let's get out of this website. Let's wanted a flat, not a private room. Um hope you're all still with me. I do apologize. Feel free to contribute in the chat if this is really boring. Um like I said, I'm trying to see if I can actually live in this place. Right, this is the place I used last time, so hopefully it'll be a bit better. So rent by what by this apartment to rent. Um no. Oh no, there we go. Right, let's click on that one. That's why. This website looks a lot better than the other one. Um a bit that's a bit squished, isn't it? I suppose it'll it would it would do for now. Beggars can't be choosy at the end of the day. If we can get but let's sort by expensive then. Why? That's no. I should have done cheaper, shouldn't I? Roll down. That one's quite nice. I wouldn't mind living there. Um, criteria. Friends. No, I want to. I want to. Price. There we go. Max. I want to spend is seven hundred a month. Bedrooms. Let's see if we can get anything for that first. We probably won't, but no. So criteria: one bedroom, one bedroom. There we go. Uh, apartment. That's quite a nice apartment. Quite clean. That'll do nicely. Quite spacious, actually, to be honest. Got his own fridge freezer and oven. What more can you ask for? Nice bathroom. Um, in the summer, it'll be nice because of the white. All everything's all white painted, so um, it will bring out the the light nicely. So yeah, so we'll go with that flat. Thank you very much. If we are to live there, that'll be that would take a hell of a lot of chunk out of our um. Wages though, so we'd we'd only have like a hundred pounds a week for everything else, including bills and stuff like that. So um, yeah, let's go back to see if there's anything else we need to look at. Right, so now what I'm going to do is delay this for a week as well. About the two, this one's probably the one I'm going to take, but we're just going to see if there's any other jobs that come available before we do it. There we go. Nearly got our first job. Sorted. Thank you for uh, staying with us. Do appreciate it. Hope you're enjoying the content. This is a new one for me doing a U European Journeyman save online. I don't usually do all this. Um, oh, we've got a, another job offer in Sevilla. Sevilla, sorry. Um, where's what league's that? That is Serbian third division, I think. Got any players? They've got a few players. Uh, you know, I can go for the job interview first. We'll just do this quickly because pretty much know what to say. No faffing around there. If I get an interview with them, if they offer me more money, you you always go with whoever offers you the most money. Now, in certain cases, that's not true. Let's say I'm managing in lovely Belgium, nice, clean, lovely Belgium, and then I get an offer from a country that's I'm not going to name any country because that'd be derogatory for any other countries that are not very nice to live in. 
but they offer me like a hundred quid more a week. I don't think I'm gonna move, but it depends on the situation. So we'll soon find out. Like if I was doing this in real life, I'd want to live in a, in hot countries that have got nice weather. Um, I wouldn't want to live in countries that are cold all the time. I have enough of that in in England. Ah, oh, that's what I should have done. I should have just picked countries that are notoriously good for their hot weather, shouldn't I? Right, apply for all. Uh, they're interested in these. Probably won't get any of these, but... Might just have to start in the Belgian amateur leagues. See how we get on with that. Coming up to nearly three hours now. Probably the longest stream I've ever done, I think. What is it? Five to four. I'm going to do another five minutes and call it a day. I think by that point, I don't, I'd, I'd have figured out what um, team I'm going to be moving forward for this save. Managed them in the previous save on FM. I'm not going to get any of these jobs, but I'm still going to apply for them because you never know. There we go, the comeback. Oh no, this is a new one. Right, so we've got UFK Studiski. We'll just go out of this. And we've got, this is going to take us a while because it's a long name. UFK Stud. Lenski, Brad, B. Okay. Uh, they haven't got a Wikipedia page. So that makes that puts me off straight away. Um, oh no, it's not Brad. Brad, Novi, Dio, Brad. There we go. Let's see what comes up now. It'll probably be so. Oh no, they, I don't. I they, have they got a wiki? No, they haven't. I don't want to manage them with them, but Wikipedia page, I don't think. No, I don't bother. Right, we'll leave that one. Turn that one down. Wait. They were offering me, I didn't check their wage, I think it was £400 a week, but I, w I, I wouldn't want to manage the team unless they were a Wikipedia page. Right, so I think we're probably going to be settling in in Belgium amateur leagues moving forward on this save. So um, see how it goes from there. Hope it will be. I was going to pick it would be that team from Mechelen. Nicer flat. Um, more money. Be a better way of doing it because I'd be making more money. So. And then hopefully I can, if they're a better team, then that means get a bigger job somewhere else down the road if they offer me the job. Like I said, I'm not going to be applying for jobs. I'm not going to be um, very interested in any, in any jobs as well. The only time I'm going to leave a club is if a, if a club offers me a job interview. So hopefully I just need to get headhunted by somebody. I said we're probably unlikely to get any of these jobs, but we're just applying for show your interest in them. Yeah, a lot of jobs come up, aren't they? So yeah, we're probably going to end up going to that Mechelen team unless... Oh, hey, oh. 
could be throw a curveball into it. Uh, see what that's like the pet bird division. A few players. Right. Let's. We'll, we'll attend the interview. But if they don't offer us any uh, the job before the Belgian clubs come along, again, then we'll just we'll just leave it. it it's, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Not going to stress too much. Oh, I'm getting hungry now. I only had cheese on toast now. I'm bloody starving now. I'm going to have chicken and rice. Yeah. Right, let's just see where we end up now. Uh, A lot of Eastern European teams getting uh, getting rid of their managers. Um, any other jobs? Yep, more apply for them. Or in process going through all this. Right, like I said, I'm just waiting for. Uh... Okay, so we've got an interview with these as well. Belgium. Is that a higher league than the other one? At least they've got a they've got a kit as well. That's a that's an upgrade to what we. We could potentially. Oh yeah, this would be an interesting job actually. I might have to delay. I might have to delay the jobs again. The Belgium ones. If I can play in a. Player vegan Belgium, that would be a good start to the series. Do this quickly, yep, that's fine. Um, hopefully, we can get that one. If we get that one, I'm going to accept it because I don't think I'm going to get a better job than that. But it's definitely an upgrade to the other job that they're, they've delayed for me. Right. Um I for this. I for that one. Okay. Right. Go in. Make your predictions in the Twitch chat if you if you think I'm going to get that Belgian League job I just applied for. You think they'll look, they'll give me a job interview? Not job interview, sorry. Do you think they'll give me the job? What do you reckon? Taking a while in it. Right, let's browse and see what happens. Oh, there we go. Fans at US URSL this the Vissy. Vissy. Um so let's type in that into Google. URSL Vissy FT. Right, there we go. Have a look at a few images there. Nice little logo, decent stadium, nice kit, type in home shirt. Um, not a bad home shirt. Yeah, yeah not bad at all. So we'll just go back now and we'll just look at their Wikipedia page. Hoping they've got one, if they have. So, um, Bit of a long name, those Union Royale Sportive Lixay. What's their nickname, though? 
Oh, they haven't got a nickname. That's a shame. Uh... Vis a vis, vis a vis. Can we call them vis a vis. We'll call them the vis a vis. There you go. That'll be their new nickname, the vis a vis. Um, professional base in Liege, Provence. Liege is a, is a nice part of Belgium, I've been told. The club colours reflected in the crest and kits are white, red, and blue. Formed in 1927, the merger between two local clubs. Um, Stadium holds 5,460. Front manager is Jose Riga. Right, they were ninth last season in the National Division 1. I think it's like the third, equivalent of the third division of the Belgian League. Uh, see if there's anything else interesting about them. No, right. Let's just see if we get see if we get the job first, and we can. If they offer me less wages than the other team, the other amateur league, then then I don't know. It's about making the most money in your career, and they say. Obviously, I've got a load of the lower countries loaded up. Then eventually, I'll load up the other ones. I just want to uh, get this job off for now. The amateur clubs haven't come back, have they? I think it's been a week. Maybe they've uh, hired somebody else instead. That would be annoying, wouldn't it, if I don't get any of the jobs? Still there? Belgium. Oh, they're not there anymore. They they got fed up of waiting, I think. So it's it's uh, all in for we save it. If I don't get that job with the URSL, I think I'll save it at that point and we'll just keep trying next stream. Hopefully that'll give me the job. RSL, Belgium. Still there? Still there. I'm not the favourite anymore. Apparently I was the favourite. Ah. Another team sat manager. Wait for that. Case. Okay. Oh, Algeria national team job is available. Don't exactly want to start my. Uh, then again, it might be an interesting twist on it, wouldn't it? Um, job security, national. So there's Algeria, Mali. Morocco, Africa, Zambia. See if there's any international youth teams as well. Okay, right. this. Right. Nice. The job available. Following the uh right, so we've got into with these. Do this one as quickly as possible.
Um, right, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to give it five more minutes, and if I don't get any anywhere, I'm going to call it a day, and then we'll just crack on um, one day. More jobs come available, so I'm just going to pop out of this for a second. Come on. Okay, all right. Um, not getting any international jobs by the looks of it. Jobs, no, that's it. Okay, carry on. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I just realized that you've been staring at that screen now for ages. So sorry. Um, how do I get it back? Oh, hold on. There we go. I'm so sorry about that, everyone. So sorry that you've not been able to see these jobs. <laughs> right, interview. Orange kit as well. Interesting. The URSL um, VC job still available, so that might be a good omen for us. Might mean we might get the job. We can start in. Why are you still look? Why are you still seeing that? You should be seeing. Hmm. Hold on. Wait, I can't see the bloody. That's all right. It's all right. Sorry. Playing up then. Okay. All right. literally just applying for any job that comes available at this point. I made a big error and I the first two jobs I got interviews for were lower they were like amateur Belgian teams and I I delayed it for a week. They initially said it was okay but I think they decided not to wait any longer and they went elsewhere. Um I have applied for this job in uh, Belgium called URSL this day. on here I'm just gonna apply I am the favorite actually now it's one favorite so hopefully that will work out well there'd be a nice first job that would Belgian third division team Just taking their sweet time and getting offering me the job though. That's the annoying thing about it. Yeah. Oh, the Japan job's available. Could I apply for that? Ah, oh, you're joking. Job I apply for. Didn't get that's annoying. I was favourite as well. Um, for that, the player interest in that, why for that? Start our save in the uh, Asian nation national job. And imagine, imagine if I got the Japan job as my first job, that would be so freaking awesome. For the free clubs, ah, oh, that's annoying. I wish I took that job at the amateur Belgian club now. Oh well. Right, so I didn't get any of the international jobs. Oh, we'll just keep going. I'm not coming off the stream until I get a job. I've just decided that now. Bear with me.
Right, sorry, I was just messaging my girlfriend. Right, back on. Come on, let's get a job. I'm hungry. Jobs come available. I kind of want to start in Belgium or Norway. I don't really want to start in, no offense to any Eastern Europeans, I think it's Eastern European, Eastern Europe, sorry. But I will take it. The next job that I get offered, I will take. Even if it's in Eastern Europe. Um. Got another Belgian club recently sat their manager. And right, so we've got a job in. Gonna get this done quickly. Pretty much needs a million times, so we just gotta tell them what they want to hear, basically. And hope we get the job. I didn't get that US URSL VC job. That'd have been a nice place to start the save. Coming up to nearly just over over three hours and ten minutes now. Longest stream I've done. Oh, new channel, Max. Why can't I apply for that? Oh, that's why. Ah, <sighs> long winded, this isn't it? Thought I would get a job by now. All right, are we favourites for these jobs? Yeah, Ronaldo Beckham. We're favourite for a Czech Republic job. Quite a few actually were favourites for. Like I said, I don't exactly think I will accept any of them. Um Oh Oh my god. That would be a very interesting job. We're in the Super League as well, so that's the big that's the big two actually. No no it's not. There it is, big two actually. They've got some good players as well. Oh, I really hope I get that job. Things I might pick up now. Unless I read that wrong. Did I read that wrong? Have I got that wrong? Hold on. Go back. Job center. Okay, let's do this. And these are the clubs. Uh I want to do it. I wanted to highlight them. 
Can I do it like that? No, I can't. Okay. We've got a few Turkish second division teams. Uh, should Czech Republic. Low league team. And then we've got this team here. This one's the most interesting one. There you go. Olympia. Uh, I should check. Might be a decent one. We've got a few of these as well. Yeah, I definitely want this one. This one's the one I'm looking out for. That would be a good say. That would be a good team to start the save with, wouldn't it? Definitely the best option out of all of them. Uh, they just they just sat their manager earlier. They've sat their manager twice in the sp the club sat their manager twice in the space of like a month. I'll be really sad now if I don't get that um that Car Car Zimba job or whatever they call it. Car Zimba. No, I don't want that one. Uh, Walk away. Nice, pleasant kit to look at. It's quite nice. Makes me think of Raspberry Ripple ice cream, though. Um, hmm. First Vienna, that would be a good start with, although I don't get that, that Turkish job. Lommel, that would be a good job. Ivor, that would be a good job to start with. Some reputation teams. Um, Why for them? Holland, Netherlands under twenty ones. That a job I can actually even I can I can apply for that, can I? Ones, yeah, can I apply for it. I can. Interesting uh, first job. Declare interest in Nigeria job. Uh, right. Done three hours and eighteen minutes. I'm going to give myself another twelve minutes. Oh, Durandi, you come at the worst possible time, mate. I'm heading off in a minute. I've been on stream now for over three hours. Um, I Just to update you, uh, today on my YouTube save with Everton, I got sacked. So that save is over. I'm going to start a new save on YouTube Monday. And then in my Newcastle save at the end of season three, I failed to achieve a, champions, uh, a top four finish. So I'm not going to be in the Champions League. So I decided to leave, stop that Ever uh, the Newcastle save as well. And then the last hour, I think, the last hour and a half, I've basically been setting up my European journeyman save. But I've done like I've done Netherlands as well. Um, but I've done a few other nations like Belgium and stuff. Let me just show you which oh, I've got oh no no, that's the wrong one. What am I looking for? There we go. So I've got Austria, Belgium, Croatia, Czech Republic, Denmark, the Netherlands, Norway, Serbia. Switzerland and Turkey and basically um, where I've got to at the moment I've been offered a couple of jobs with amateur Belgian teams um, and then there was a third division Belgian team that, that had me as the favourite to win the job so I, um, I walked away from the two other jobs that I got offered in the 
Belgian manager leagues, and then they didn't hire me. So I'm I'm back to square one trying to find a new job. But there's an interesting team that have got me as odds on favourite to get the job. And it's this team here in Turkey. Um Tassim Pasa. So um they're in the Turkish top league. And I've also just applied for the the Netherlands under twenty ones manager job as well. So that might end up being my first job in the game. I thought of you, that's why I thought I'd apply for it. I thought Durandi would like that. How are you in there? You're right. You having a nice day? I'm not going to be on here for much longer. I'm only going to be here for another 10 minutes. Um, you missed the, the 90s and 2000s Premier League football quiz earlier. There was a couple here and I was doing that while I was waiting for this to holiday. So I've holiday to the um, holiday to the 31st of December and then I've started applying for jobs. So yeah, but no, I'm glad you're having a good day, mate. Have you been up to much? What have you been up to? Oh, I've been offered a job here. Uh, Croatia. Hmm. I don't know about that. No, I can't. I can't live on one hundred and forty pounds a week. I'm not. I'm not doing that. No. I want that bloody Turkish league job or the Netherlands under twenty ones job. Amber in the uh, Netherlands. That'd be interesting. RKC, another decent job in the Netherlands. That'd be good, worth doing. Ah, uh, been unsuccessful, Gerandi. Uh, Netherlands under 21s won't give me a job. Cup game, is that, is that PS a PSV playing in the cup, are they? Right, if I don't get that Karen Zipper job, or however you pronounce the name, I'm going to end the save um, for today and I'll go back to it on Monday. Hopefully, they're taking their sweet time giving, offering me the job though, aren't they? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That might be an interesting game to watch. Are they local to you? Yeah, that's what that's what you want to see in it. If you're watching a live game of football, you want to see like a really good goal, don't you? Yeah, AFC, I've heard of them before. Yeah, they're, 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 they're in Amsterdam, aren't they? Is that Karen Zipper? Oh, hold on. Oh, no, is the Karen Zipper job gone? Oh, that's upsetting. But that's as well. Oh, that's it. That's, that's it. That, oh, no, it ain't. It's still there. There you go. Come on, hurry up and bloody give me the job. Uh, I've heard of AFC because there was um, somebody on the Sorry Games forums 
did a career with AFC um, with the aim of them toppling Ajax as the top team in Amsterdam. But yeah, I have heard of AFC. Otherwise, if I if they hadn't have done that, if I hadn't have seen that career thread that he did with them, no, I probably wouldn't know who they were. Yeah. Are you doing much um, over the weekend after today? Nah, nah, I mean, um, I'm going out with my girlfriend tomorrow. We're going to meet her best mate and her boyfriend tomorrow. So uh, I think that's pretty much it for us. We're just going to try and stay in the warmth as best as possible because it's supposed to be really cold this weekend here. I can already feel it now. My, my flat's always bloody cold. Um, right, five more minutes, and then I'm probably going to call it a day. Um, I'll be, um, Durandi, I'll be back on Twitch um, on Monday, 2 p.m. UK time. What time is it? What time is it by you? It's half five in the afternoon here. What time is it by you? Are you just an hour ahead or an hour behind? Um, if it's like, if it's a if it's from the PSV game, I think I watched the goals from there because somebody posted about it. Is it a, is it a goal from the PSV game? The PSV play yesterday. I think I've seen the goals. If not, just send me a link and I'll have a look at it in a second. I'll have to mute it though because otherwise it will blast out onto the screen. Yeah, I said, so you're just uh, an hour ahead. Okay, let me have a look then. Right, I'm just going to mute this. Hold on. Okay. Actually, in fact, I'll, I'll show you. Can I let me see if I can show everybody else? Um, no, not there. Bear with us. Right. Watching this goal there. Hoping everyone can see it. Yeah. I hope I don't get done for copyright strike. No. Oh, yeah. Good goal. Yeah. He was a bit shocked they got that one, wasn't he? Yeah, good goal, mate. Yeah, I, I've got a VPN anyway, mate. So I, if it didn't work, I'd have just changed my location, but I wouldn't have been able to do it during the stream. But yeah. Oh, we've got a job interview. That's a nice kit. I like the look of that kit. Why have we still not? Why is that still available? Why, why is it taking forever? It's getting taken the mick at this point. Yeah, it's a good goal. Right. 
I'm going to, um, no, I'm going to call it a day. Really hoping to get that, um, Cassim, Cassimba, Cassimba, Cassimpa. Yeah, I've seen a French player um, called Ryan George today on FM. I was like, that's, a, that's not a French name, Ryan George. But yeah, they do happen. A lot of Brazilian players use English first names and stuff, don't they? Uh, right, on that note, I'm going to all this a day. Um, Randy, thank you for joining us briefly. I apologize. Um, I went way over than I should have. I've done three and a half hours. I was only going to do two and a half. I was trying to get a, a job before I come up here, but I guess I'll have to um, go back to that next time. Yeah. Thank you, Randy. Enjoy your weekend. If I don't, um, obviously, I won't speak to you now until Monday, so enjoy the rest of your weekend. Um, thank you to everybody else, Josh and Copsy and anybody else that come in and um, enjoy the rest of your, enjoy your weekend and I'll be back on Monday and all the best. Yeah.